Hi, my name's Young Hindi, and I'm a Managed File Transfer Solutions Engineer at Axway, and I'm here to dive into Axway's Activator. Axway's Activator is an endpoint solution that enables you to quickly and easily exchange messages with your business partners. It's a self-service downloadable connector that can be installed within minutes for simple partner onboarding using communication protocols of your choice. This means Activator is both a client and a server, enabling you to exchange messages up to 10 partners. Activator supports a wide range of protocols such as AS2, AS4, FTP, SFTP, and much more. We see in this diagram that I can send and retrieve messages to and from my partners, but also to my internal applications, all with the same solution with the protocol of your choice. Let me go ahead and pull up my Activator client that I've installed on my laptop, and what we'll see is how quickly I can onboard new partners, configure the communication of my choice, and the ability to track and trace those messages. And let me go ahead and log in. And let's start off with what we're looking at right now. Activator is managed by a web-based administration, and I'm currently logged in as a root administrator. However, you can set up roles based on different department organizations. Activator has that field of multi-tenant where you can have different business groups where they can be self-service and managing their own spaces. We have something called a community. And with a community, I can organize and group based on the different types of partners I'm working with or the different types of roles, such as maybe accounts receivable, claims, bank statements, OEMs that I'm working with. All of these could be a different type of community. And here I have some different communities. And where I want, really want to focus on is AS2 partners and PGP partners. These are the most common use cases when using Activator. We'll start off by looking at our AS2 community. At the very top, we have a topology map view. And if we go from right to left, we start off with the external world, which are your external partners or businesses that you do exchange or receive messages from. As we go left, we need to configure different components to define your community and how they will communicate with this partner and ultimately where these messages need to go. As we go the other way, we need to pick up messages from an internal application and send them to our partner. We'll define who the partner is and what protocol will be used. Within trading partners, I can see a list of trading partners that are currently enrolled into this community and I can manage any one of them. If I want to go ahead and create a new partner, I have a few options. I can manually create one or I can import one from an external file. If I go ahead and create one manually, I need some basic contact information. How do we want to identify this partner when receiving messages and what community they'll belong to? Let's take a look at one of my existing partners I've already set up, John. By going to John, here I can manage the partner level certificates, ways we can communicate with the partner, and many other details. I've already set up ways to communicate with this partner, and we can see that by going to partner delivery. By adding a new delivery, we'll see a wide range of communication protocols that are available. There may be multiple ways that we're sending files to this partner, and I can configure as many as I need. Configuring a partner only takes a few minutes. Let me go ahead and send some files, and then I can show you how we can track and trace those messages in and out of Activator. Here we can track and trace our messages. We can see some messages have been delivered. I sent it to one of my partners named Young. By clicking the details, we can see the file name. When it was sent, some more details. If I look at the message processing details, we can see even further details of how it was sent, such as the protocol and how, what the delivery method that was used. Now that we've seen an AS2 transfer, now we want to see some files that are sent with PGP encryption. So I have a partner called Sally. And within partner delivery for Sally, we have some protocols or some communication deliveries that have been set up. And we see that we're going to encrypt the file with PGP encryption, and then we're going to send it over FTP. What I'll do, I'll send some files, and what it'll do, it'll use this protocol and this delivery method and PGP encrypt the file. So I'll go ahead and I'll set the file. We take a look at message tracker here. We see that a file has been delivered from PGP Partners Community to Sally. We click on Details, and I download this message and open it up. We'll see that it's been PGP encrypted. If we take a look at message processing, again, we're using that delivery method. We're using FTP as our protocol, and we're PGP encrypting the file. I've also sent some messages to one of my partners called Daniel. And we kind of want to see one of those failures, right? So we have some messages here that were sent to Daniel. So I click on details uh, and go to message processing. 
we can get more information that helps us figure out the issues uh, when trying to deliver a message to Daniel. So we see here the security that has been encrypted and enabled, but the receiver does not have the encryption certificate. So what we're doing uh, is we're trying to send a file with PGP encryption, but we're missing that certificate. And we can verify that by going to Daniel. We take a look at his certificates and we see we're missing that certificate. So in order to resolve this, we would have to add that partner level certificate and then we can resend that file. What we saw was how easily it is to exchange files with your business partners without any technical expertise. Self-service and delegated capabilities, quick and easy onboarding, complete visibility from end to end into that transaction status and volume enables you to be proactive with reporting and real-time alerts, and data is secure. Thank you for your time.